Well, hello everyone, I'm back for video number two today. Can you believe it? I'm making another video. <laughs> well, this video is going out to Sam St. John, who I mentioned in my last video on Mike Nesmith. And I've been wanting to do this video for Sam for quite a while, but I finally got the time to do it and get all my... Uh, items with this group together and here it is and this video is on the zombies and i'm wearing their odyssey and oracle shirt that i got at a fest for beetle fans and that's when i actually saw them for the first time all right so let's get to it i hope uh, everybody's doing well and feeling fine and the first thing I'm going to show is some singles. The first thing I'm going to show is their first hit back in the 60s. I believe this came out in 65. And it's on the Parrot label. It's called She's Not There. Now this is the original single with this picture sleeve. I always love this parrot. Here he has a yellow belly, a yellow beak. <laughs> so you got two different colors of the parrot. Like I said, this is their first single in the original Parrot Company sleeve. The next one up, and I know I do have this single somewhere, but it's not with this sleeve because I picked up this sleeve separately. This is their picture sleeve from their second uh, U.S. hit, and I'm sure in the U.K. as well. Tell Her No. It's a fun sleeve. Also on the Parrot label, as you can see right here, and I also have the single somewhere, but I can't, I couldn't find it. I looked for it, I know I have it, but don't know where it is at the moment. But that's the sleeve, and the back side is the same. And the next one, most people know this song because it's been on the radio, All it's always on the radio. This is the time of the season, and back then they were on the date label. I believe this song came out in 1969. You can correct me if I'm wrong. And this is the uh, time of the season, radio station copy, promotional. You can see at the top that it says uh, Special Rush Pressing, I think that says. No, Reservice. So it was a Special Rush Reservice service and it was sent to uh, radio stations I guess on a high priority and the other side is the same I love playing this song one of my favorites by then all right now we're gonna go in uh, order of release for the most part I think I got these all right this is a reissue of uh, the Mono album, the Zombies' first LP. And you can see here it says featuring She's Not There and Tell Her No. This is still in the shrink wrap, but like I said, this is a reissue. And this reissue was a record store day release from April of 2013. You can see I still have the price tag there when it came out. And I'll show you the label real quick. This is on 180 gram vinyl, and I think this was a uh, limited. Yes, this was a uh, limited collector's edition of a thousand copies on 180 gram vinyl. So this was only uh, a small amount that they were made. And here's the label, and it's def definitely uh, heavy vinyl. Here's the other side label. I've played this once and it sounds great. It has nice fidelity and it's nice and heavy. Quality great vinyl. All right. Next one up we have this is on London Records and it's called Early Days. Very colorful uh, cover. It's almost like somebody colored this with a marker. But that's the way it came. It was meant to look like this. 
It's the early days, like I said, zombies and stereo. Here's the back of the cover with all the song listings. You could pause that and read that if you like. And this is the original inner sleeve it came in. Shows all the artists that were popular in that time period. 65. And here's the great looking record on the London label. Always like this blue London stereophonic label. This is going to be quite a long video, so if you're a zombie fan, you'll have to hang in there. I've always loved this band. They've uh, been a part of my life ever since I was young, little kid. All right, this one is called the Zombie She's Not There LP. Here's a song listing. I think this is an early 80s issue. I think, as my dog is right in front of me. <laughs> she wants some attention, too. I'll show the record label real quick. In case anybody's interested in seeing it. Sam, I'm sure you would like to see it. There you go. There's the London label. It's a unique label to this pressing. got this interesting plastic sleeve as you can see <laughs> I think this is some sort of import let me see if I can see that's no, made in London England so it is an import this record I've had it a very long time next up we have uh, this is called the time of the zombies 2 LP set this has a lot of his, their great songs on it from the Early days forward. Hopefully you can see all those songs and you can pause it. I'll just take out one of the records to show you. It's on the orange epic label. This probably came out in 73, 74. Actually it's 1974 as you can see there. Here's the other side. This was a 74 release. All right, now we're going to get to some uh, other record store day releases. This one I never opened, believe it or not. It's uh, It came out in April of 2014. This was a reissue of Odyssey and Oracle. You can see the date right there when it came out. And this was a 180 gram vinyl limited collector's edition of 2,500 copies. So this was limited to 2,500 copies. I think I'll open this up really soon and play it, see what it sounds like compared to the uh, older releases. No point in keeping it sealed. But there you go. That's another record store day release. There's another record store day release right here. This one is just called The Zombies, and this one's sealed as well. This one also came out April of 2014. This was a record store day release, and I have yet to open this one. This one is in mono, as you can see, right down here. Sorry. Here's the back. It's hard to see the track listing on this because they put it up all the way down. And this was limited to 1,500 copies. So they only made 1,500 copies of this for Record Store Day in 2014. And I think this is the last Record Store Day one. This one came out the following year, April of 2015. This was called The Zombies R.I.P. It just has a black cover. Here's a song listing.
This one I did open, so let's take a look. Because I wanted to hear this one. This had some really cool songs on it. Again, this was a record store day release for 2015. You could pause that and read the songs if you'd like. There's probably a lot of people that are not aware that the Zombies, uh, even though they're, they're known for uh, three big hits, She's Not There, Tell Her No, and Time of the Season, they had many, many, many good songs. Very well written. Uh, Rod Argent was the leader of the band. Colin Blundstone was a singer. And uh, going forward, as we get into the other... Uh, band that Rod Argent started. We'll get there soon. Now, these next two records, I was able to get uh, autographed by the Zombies when I went to a Beatle Fest a few years back. The first one is uh, this uh, reissue of Odyssey and Oracle. This has all four band members autographed. You can see them right here. This is Colin Blundstone right here. Rod Argent's right down here. Hugh, Hugh autograph right here. Hugh Grimbley. And I am... Um, can't really tell what this says right here, but it's the other band member, as you can see. Now, the special thing about this album, and this is the main reason why I bought it, of course, besides the autographs being number one, <laughs> this is number two. Check this vinyl out. This has all kinds of psychedelic looking colors on it. It's got like a uh, frosty silver with all these colors. Yellow, red, bluish, green. And that's really, I really like that. And this album has really nice fidelity. Sounds really good, believe it or not, even though it has all these colors in it. It's one of my favorite zombie records right there. And the next record I'm going to show is my original stereo that I brought with the fest for me because I knew the zombies were going to be there. And they signed this the day that I went to Beetle Fest. So these signatures are the exact day that I went there. The other zombies record was pre-autographed and this is the one that they signed when I brought this record. Because you, if you had any kind of memorabilia or records, you brought them there. Uh, the people that were running uh, the show for the zombies, they had a lot of uh, memorabilia that you can buy. Took your record, they put your name to it, and then backstage the zombies signed the record. So I had this one signed by them that day that I was at Fest for Beetle Fans. And they did a great job of it signing. You can see all the autographs right here. And this is my original stereo version of the record that I showed before the mono copy that was the reissue. This is an original stereo and I tre really treasure this even more so than the other album I showed that was autographed because they per they did this one the day that I saw them at Fest for Beatles fans. Now I'll show you the record which is on Parrot. This is the original LP on Parrot. I love that label. And you can see it's distributed by London Records. So Parrot was an offshoot of London. Here's the other side. I really treasure this uh, Zombies collection of mine because I Growing up, uh, I really loved their music. My aunt used to play them a lot in the background when she watched me, and I really 
grew to love the zombies through my life, and uh, they mean a lot to me listening to them. They just bring back fond memories of youth. All right, now the next two uh, couple uh, records I'm going to show are, are um, called Argent. Now, Rod, uh, when the uh, Zombies disbanded, he started another band called Argent, and this was their album all together now. Now, I also have a couple more albums by Argent, but uh, I can't find them at the moment. They're probably, uh, you know, amongst my many albums that I have all, you know, I have some records down in my basement, so it's probably they're probably down there. Here, this was a gatefold cover. Got a couple pictures in between. There's Rod right there. There's a couple of the other band members. It's really cool that the booklets in here. A lot of times you get records and the booklets are missing. Here's the track listing on the back. And I'll show the record. It's on the yellow Epic label. In stereo sound. All right, the next uh, Argent record is called Ring of Hands. This is also a gatefold. Here's all the guys in the group. That's my dog itches. <laughs> Got a little scratch. There's the whole band. I know she doesn't have fleas. <laughs> and a ring of hands. Here we go. This is also on the Epic label. There you go. Now another one of Argent's big hits was uh, God Gave Rock and Roll to You. And then... Uh, I think in the early 90s, KISS, the group KISS, did their rendition of uh, God Gave Rock and Roll to You, which was a good song in itself. But I always uh, loved the original version by Argent of God Gave Rock and Roll to You. But KISS is right up there as well. Okay, now the last couple items I'm going to show... are two eight-track tapes. Now, Odyssey and Oracle, uh, after the initial release, it also had a different cover. Now, this was the second issue cover for Odyssey and Oracle. I don't really like this cover. I like the first one better. I'm not sure why they had to get rid of the first cover. I'm sure there's a reason why. If anybody knows, put that down in the description. Here's a track listing. Of the A-Track. And this A-Track, believe it or not, is still sealed. It's never been opened. It's got a little punch mark here. But uh, this has never been opened. It's totally sealed. And when I found this many years ago, I couldn't believe it. That nobody ever opened this great album by the Zombies. And the last one is another A-Track. This is Argent. This is the A-Track form of the Altogether L LP that I just showed. This is also sealed, never opened. So if you open these up, they play at least once. <laughs> there you go. This is on Epic 8-Track Tape. And here's the title. On the back. And there you go. There's the majority of my Zombies Argent Collection. I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while for Sam St. John, and this video is for you, Sam. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you uh, liked what you saw and everything in my collection. And everybody else who watched this video and enjoyed it, I hope you uh, are doing well. Try to have a good time in life, because we're only around one time. Be nice if we come around again. I guess we don't know. We'll never know, right? in the future <laughs> so thanks again for all who watch my videos i enjoy comments if you have any comments about the zombies or any other anything else that's on your mind please put it down in the comments below 
If you like what you see here, please subscribe to my channel. I really don't ask that much. I, when I do videos at the end, I never really say subscribe to my channel, but I guess every once in a while it's good to promote your channel. So if you like what you see, please subscribe. There's many videos to come. I talk about all kinds of music in my collection and stuff that I like and love. And uh, I appreciate all my viewers. I appreciate all my new subscribers that have subscribed in the last month or so. And I enjoy your input. So if anybody has anything to say, please do it. All right, everyone, take care. Take it easy. Be well and take care of each other. Be good to your friends, your family. And take care. Peace. Bye-bye. And talk to you real soon.